Hey, how's it going everyone? This is your reliable and easygoing YouTube expert, Daryl Eves. Now, I know all of us would love to make more money with our videos, right? Here on YouTube. And there's several ways you can do that. One of the biggest ways is getting brand deals, sponsorship, uh, you know, people to sponsor your videos. And in the past, I've talked about FameBit and there's been some major changes with FameBit. You definitely don't want to miss this. So if you're interested in making more money with your videos and your content, and you're interested in sponsorship deals, then you need to stay tuned. DarylEves.com. Now, one of the things that I always do is work with uh, content creators and brands and businesses, and really the biggest way that you can actually make money on YouTube and as a creator in general is through sponsorship deals. And I really love this service called FameBit. I actually have a couple videos that are featured uh, on my channel about FameBit. I, I show you how to set it up, what it's all about. And then I actually selected one of my subscribers um, and, and Patty, I love Patty. Uh, she's the rock star mom on YouTube, check her out. Uh, we t took her through the process of you know, submitting uh, uh, partnership deals and getting accepted and she got a ton of deals. Well, today I'm actually joined b with Adam again from FameBit. How you doing, Adam? I'm great, Daryl. Thanks for having me back. I appreciate it. Well, I'm excited to have you on because you know there's some rumblings going on that that FameBit is is updating. There's a lot of new updates that are happening. It's not the same FameBit that it was just <laughs> uh, months ago. Yeah. Could you kind of tell us first off what is FameBit? Sure. What it's used for, and then let's kind of jump in and talk about some of the updates. Yeah, absolutely. So at its heart, FameBit is a platform for connecting brands and content creators for sponsorship deals. So the whole idea be uh, behind the platform is to make this process as easy as possible. Basically, brands will come on, they'll post a campaign, and then as an influencer, you can come on and say, hey, like this product makes a lot of sense for my channel. I think my audience will be excited about it. If that's the case, you send them a proposal, brand accepts the proposal, you work together, you get paid for creating great content. Um, end of story. So it's, it's been primarily, or it has only been on YouTube really since its uh, inception, um, but that's not what we always had in mind. So YouTube was definitely is, is and has always been our baby, but we've wanted to expand into other platforms. And we actually saw people already doing this um, on FameBit. So people were talking in these workrooms like, hey, I'll, I'll send out a tweet about the video or an Instagram post. And we just, we knew from the start that we needed to make this a little bit more integrated. And that's what we've done. So uh, just, just a few weeks ago, we added YouTube, or we obviously have YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Vine. Um, sponsorships are all available on FameBit now. So it's a huge update, and uh, we're really excited about now, it. Now, I'm, I'm here to tell you that I'm super excited about a couple of those new announcements. So the first one would be Instagram. I, I know there's a lot of people on, uh, that subscribe to my channel that have huge Instagram followings. I mean, huge. Yeah. And, and they're saying, hey, you know what? I know I've been doing pictures. I want to get involved with video. And they're, so they're starting video channels uh, on YouTube. So how does it work for someone on Instagram? What does that actually look like? Yeah, so right now you do need 1,000 YouTube subscribers to sign up for FameBit. We will be changing that, but as of this video being recorded, um, you will need 1,000 YouTube subscribers to sign up. Once you do that, all you need to do is connect any other social accounts that have over 1,000 subscribers. And what we've done is made it really easy for brands to say what they want and creators to offer up what they, what they can offer. So what, I guess what that means is if a brand only wants to do Instagram, they can post a campaign. Um, with just Instagram or just Vine or all of the above. And then creators can come in and offer whatever channels they want. So let's say a brand wants YouTube video, Instagram, Twitter, and you only are an Instagram and YouTuber, you can just send a proposal on those and maybe they hire you for both or they could hire you for either. So it's very open. Um, it's very, very uh, easily tailored from both sides so that both feel really happy with the content that's going to get created. And how does that work? I mean, in the sense of um, you know, someone that has a huge Instagram following, but their YouTube following is not as, as big. Do these brands kind of frown down on that and would only select the Instagram for that uh, sponsorship deal? Or how, how does that kind of look like? Yeah, I mean, I guess it really depends on how you price yourself. So if um, you're huge on Instagram and small on YouTube, maybe you could add YouTube as the, as the added value um, to, to your Instagram post. So you really, you price each channel individually. So then the brand has a choice on what, what they want to hire you for. And I've seen it where you know they hire you for several channels and you kind of work a package deal. 
as well. So um, it, it, again, it's re it's really easy for both sides to kind of um, pull the levers and kind of meet in the middle to what they think is going to be beneficial to both sides. Right. And I, what I love too is that you're expanding out and merging out uh, on Vine. Um, I, I, I love that platform. It, there's some really creative people that just take those six seconds and make some magic that's there. It's, so. Yeah, it's incredible what people do with six seconds. I feel like Vine is like one of the hardest platforms to create really good content for because you have such a short period of time. But when it's done, it's done well. It's done, you know, it's amazing work. Yeah, and really the uh, Vine compilation videos on YouTube are starting to take off too. People love those little six seconds. And, you know, when you put the whole month's worth, it makes a pretty amazing video. Yeah, yeah that does. It, it really does. So it's, it's neat that you're actually integrating with them. And so what other, what other, some, what are, some of the other updates that FameBit has experienced in the last couple months. Yeah, so the one thing I want to talk about is, um, you know, we do have Instagram, Twitter, and Vine, and we're looking at FameBit as a influencer platform. Meaning, we're we're looking for other channels as well, anywhere where you can have social influence. We want to make that a part of the FameBit experience. So, uh, if you read between the lines, there. Um, there's other social platforms that we haven't integrated with but are on the roadmap. We've had a lot of rumblings about people asking about Facebook since Facebook video is getting a lot of attention, Tumblr. Um, so this is not the end for us. This is just you know the beginning to other social platforms. And as I mentioned before, you can't sign up with the other platforms right now. You need a 1,000 YouTube subscribers to sign up, but that will also be changing. So if you're just on Instagram and a huge influencer there or just on uh, Twitter, you'll be able to sign up very shortly just with those channels. Um, so that that's a huge update. And then the other one is we actually have released an iPhone app. So now you can manage and send uh, sponsorship proposals on the go wherever you are, which I think is just super powerful. I think we're the only or one of the only ones that have a, an app for creators. And I mean, let's just face it. Everyone's on the go. Everyone's on their phone. It just made sense for us um, to be able to manage your, your workrooms and your, your deals and find new ones on the go. So you roll out of bed, you open up the FameBit app and see what paid sponsorships are available or waiting in line for you know your coffee and you can pop it open and look or manage. So I think it's really powerful. We're seeing a lot of our um, influencers and creators using the app, which has been really exciting. That, that's awesome. Now, I know this question is going to be in the comments. So we might as well address it right yeah. now. There are people that don't have a thousand subscribers, but they have a significant amount of followers on other platforms like Twitter or Vine yeah. or, or Instagram. How do they get notified when that option is open? What, what, what do they need to do to be able to, to get an email or some type of notification? Because they're, they're really chomping at the bit. They want to be a part of FameBit. They want to be able to get these brand deals. So how do they actually get notified? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, right now, the best way to do it, honestly, is just to follow us on Twitter, um, at FameBit, and we'll be announcing that as soon as we can. We d unfortunately don't have an email uh, capture yet for it. Yeah, and the, the critical thing about that too is that's the best way to be notified anyway. I, <laughs> you know, yeah. I, I get so many emails that I'm like, I don't even know. It, yeah, but you know, if I wanna know if something's going on, I'll, I'll follow a, you know, a Twitter handle for sure, so. Yeah. The other way that we've done it too is we, we actually, I don't know if you know this, Sarah, but we, we started our own uh, YouTube channel and we have been doing all of our product announcements there too. And that's been a really cool way to connect. And um, when we released the, the latest integrations, um, we did it on our YouTube channel and it was awesome to see you know, all the comments and, and so on there. So if you're interested about that and being notified, I put the Twitter handle in the description below and also their, their YouTube channel for sure. So you can make sure you check for those updates. I think, Adam, I think the biggest thing for me that I'm excited about is um, there's a lot of limitations uh, just being uh, YouTube specific. And I work with a lot of big businesses and brands and, and YouTube's only a portion of the pie. Absolutely. Uh, they want a lot of influence. And I, I really found too is there's other mediums that are able to push a lot of traffic to whatever they're looking to promote, whatever they're looking to do. And you know, if you're only looking at YouTube specifically, I think that that would be, uh, you know, that's very short-sighted yes. and, and, and there's other opportunities. And so I think the biggest thing is, if you're looking to grow an audience, you know, figure out what you love. You know, yeah, do it on YouTube if you love YouTube. Do it on Instagram if you love Instagram. Do it on Facebook if you love Facebook. Do it all over across the board if you love that. And, and one of the things I found too in working with just the biggest YouTube channels that are out there is they like to build audiences off of YouTube. Yep. Uh, they focus a lot of time on that because do you know what? Some of these brand deals and some of your, your channels, you're not able to post up a video saying, hey, I wanna promote this product. 
but you can sure do a Facebook post. You can Absolutely. sure do an Instagram post. You can sure tweet it out. And yet you can make money at that too if you have an audience. So I, I definitely encourage you to build an audience off of YouTube, those that are watching this video. Would you agree with that? Great point. So two things on that. One, um, I've talked to a lot of influencers. We've been doing a lot of influencer interviews. And the thing that I've noticed is the, the, the ones that are really successful view themselves as a brand. And YouTube is just one of the channels for their brand. It's not, they don't view themselves particularly as a YouTuber. They're, they're a business and they're a personal brand and YouTube is a channel, but they're also on several other channels uh, pushing different types of, uh, of content around their personal brand. And two, um, to your point about just kind of the speed of things, um, sometimes you can't do a video or you know, for whatever reason, what I've been really impressed with is just how quickly uh, um, you can connect with the brand. You can send a proposal, you can get hired, and you can have that Instagram or Twitter post up like you know th within the same day or, or a matter of hours. So it's really cool how quickly things can happen. Happen, um, on some of the other channels. Yeah, and I think that's where you, you really need to, you hit a really good point, uh, you kind of articulated a lot better than I did, is you know you are the brand or your product or business is the brand and it's really getting it out in front of a wider variety of audience. Um, I, I know that there are other audiences out there, other platforms. Uh, there's some emerging audiences like Blab and Periscope and you know Meerkat, all that, the fun stuff that's there with live video. And the reality is, is there's a lot of new opportunity. Don't just bank everything on YouTube, uh, but all those different platforms like Facebook, like Twitter, can feed uh, new views, new subscribers into your YouTube, and it can kind of work uh, together, um, and it can really help you really grow and, and build. And I, I know one thing that when I start working with a brand new uh, client that wants to get a huge YouTube presence, uh, we start on Facebook first because <laughs> that's an easy way to grow an audience on, on Facebook. It's super simple to do it. And, and then we start moving that audience where we'd like to put them, whether it's on Facebook or Vine or Instagram or what have you. So, well, that's great. great. So um, tell me, uh, I know when you first started FameBit and things were going, there weren't that many verticals that people could do. It was beauty was the, like yeah, the big one. That's pretty much it. Yeah, would you, would you kind of expand on that a little bit? I know a lot of people are very curious if, you know, their niche and the, there's are different brands coming and looking for different types of creators. Yeah, absolutely. So what I can say is we're, we're literally adding new campaigns every day. We have over 300 different campaigns live right now that you can uh, send proposals on. Um, so yes, beauty and, and fashion are always going to be a huge uh, part of that. But we've really started to expand in other verticals, namely gaming and tech. There's a lot of gaming opportunities. Obviously, there's a lot of gaming YouTubers out there. Um, we've also moved into some home products, uh, pet products, food. Um, so we're really trying to you know, spread it as wide as we can. I mean, when we started FameBit, we really wanted to be really like laser focused. So we did YouTube uh, beauty. But now that we've kind of nailed that, we're moving out to these other categories. And um, if there's categories on, on FameBit that you haven't seen, just keep checking back. We're literally adding all different categories um, daily. Yeah, and I think the biggest thing is following your Twitter handle. I, I, I actually follow you guys, and you guys are very, very good at constantly giving the updates you know, what's going on when there's new vertical stuff like that. And so that's, that's great. So uh, just, just in closing, I mean, uh, there's some major changes. Kind of sum it up one more time, what's happening and uh, the thing that you're most excited about. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the thing that I'm most excited about is we're really getting to the point now where our platform is an influencer marketing platform where there's you know, infinite channels um, that are available now. You, you, know, you mentioned live streaming. There's just a lot to be excited about in this space in general, being a creator, being an influencer. And we're really excited to kind of be at the forefront of that, connecting influencers and brands. And um, this is really just a start for us. I mean, it, it, we definitely are not like sitting back saying like, all right, we've got it down. Um, there's just a lot, a lot of things in the pipeline, a lot of things on our feature board that uh, we look forward to releasing. I would say for me, what gets me the most excited is, you know, for the longest time, creators, the only way they could make money was uh, through AdSense on YouTube, but on other platforms, they're not able to make money unless they sell something. Um, they weren't able to get any partnership deals with Facebook. It just doesn't happen. Yeah, they announced they're going to kind of start doing it, you know, or Instagram, there's nothing. I mean, you have these huge followings and there's nothing you're able to do. 
uh, there, there's a lot of pe people that are passionate about certain uh, types of, of things in the world. And they have these huge followings, but they weren't able to make money. The thing that I love about FameBit is that you're not just localizing to YouTube, that you're literally going out everywhere that you possibly can with people with influence um, and connecting them with the brands. And, and there are now ways that, that people that just love, eat, drink, sleep, whatever, it could be birding, <laughs> you know, whatever, <laughs> yeah. you know, that they can now start making money at it outside of selling, you know, specific products. You can get sponsorship deals, which is fantastic. And I think that's, that right there is why I love FameBit. And I would encourage everybody to go to FameBit.com. If you haven't signed up, sign up. Uh, right now, you have to have a thousand subscribers on your YouTube channel, uh, but here in the near future, that's not going to necessarily be the case. So you definitely want to check back, make sure that's you subscribe right. to them. Any last things, Adam? No, not at all. Um, as you said, it's free to sign up, so make sure to go check it out. If you don't have those subs, follow us on Twitter or YouTube and um, look, look for it very soon. It's definitely high, high, high on our priority list. Yeah, and, and it's coming very quickly, guys. It, it right. is. So for those that Hang don't have 1,000 <laughs> subscribers, make sure you follow them on Twitter and, and subscribe to their YouTube channel. And I want to thank everybody that for watching this video. Uh, for me, I really want to help you uh, really do what you love. And to really do what you love, you need to have the income coming in to help support you. FameBit is a perfect way to bring supplemental income and a, a decent amount of income depending on your following and really you know, help you do what you need to do. And if you uh, are curious about FameBit, you wanna know what it is, how to set it up, I made a video right over here that shows you everything that you need to do to do it. And then I walk through, there's a couple other videos here too, that we walk through and, and show how to submit deals and I give you tips and techniques and I help one of my subscribers, Rockstar Mom, Patty, and uh, we, we helped her get quite a few different deals and uh, you know make a, a little bit of money, put some money in her pocket, and there's some interviews and stuff on that as well. So go ahead, check out FameBit, a lot of great changes. What I'm the most excited about is Instagram. I'm telling you, I can't wait for that because I, I need to uh, you know help monetize a lot of my clients with that as well. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.